Hello there, Evie here. So, super quick video. I need your opinion on which 160mm cooler we will be using for our 160mm case capable testing system. Um, okay, if you haven't seen the Side Mugen 5 review, uh, before continuing with this video, please jump back. Um, well, that should have been uploaded about half an hour before the upload of this video. So, please jump onto that one. Go check it out and see what you think of that uh, and then come back here and finish off the rest of this video. Basically, the uh, the coolers that I am, I am more keen on will be the D15S and the Mugen 5, basically because they're extremely capable uh, and um, they're just so easy to use. Uh, the Dark Rock 4, its finish is too sensitive and the um, the fan mounting system I, I would just drive me nuts within a couple of reviews and I'd probably end up ditching that for something, you know, more usable. Um, and the H5 Universal just it just didn't have the thermals uh, to, to back it up. Maybe the uni uh, maybe the Ultimate would be much better, but it has limited RAM compatibility and I prefer to keep that open as much as possible. The uh, the D15S and the Mugen 5 have got great RAM compatibility. Uh, the up I will be uploading the Filmrite Macho uh, review next week, and you will understand why I won't be going forward with that one. It's a very capable cooler in itself, but there are reasons to why I won't be going forward with that. I won't spoil anything now, but you'll be able to check that out next week. So it's between the D15S and Mugen 5. There is a straw poll in the video description. Actually, it's going. It's a Patreon poll. It'll jump. Go. You'll jump over to the Patreon. You don't have to be uh, signed up to Patreon or a patron of my Patreon, Baby Techie, to be able to vote on it. It's a public poll. Uh, so let me know between the Mugen 5 and D15S what you think. If you think I've made a crazy decision and should be choosing something else, go to the comments and let me know. Um, out of the coolers I've tested, I'm not going to be testing any more coolers for this category because I haven't got time. I need to do the testing for the level 20 VT, which I have here, and I need to get building inside it now. Um, so I've got that ready to go. I was literally about to compile the system to go onto the micro ATX uh, test or micro ATX motherboard for the test system and realized crap I haven't sorted out the 160 millimeter cooler for it and I was supposed to do a video there for it and I want to get this uh, level 20 review done uh, relatively quickly I've got everything dismantled all of the drives are out of it I've got the um the front I.O. has been repositioned in every position possible, recorded, it's out of the, the case everything's ready to go I just need to nail down this one what I'll do is I will preemptively put my preferred choice into the onto, uh, into the system until I get more confirmation from you guys and if you guys steer in one direction more than another and one that I wasn't particularly in, interested in going in then I'll most likely take that heavily on board and I will swap the cooler out and test after then I'll do everything I can up to a certain point until I have to make a decision and then I'll make a decision before I go into actually testing so that's pretty much that. I don't think there's anything else to say. Uh, thank you so much for your support going forward. Thanks to all the patrons for all of your support uh, and all your donations and funding. That has been able to do a lot of what we do here. Um, and like I was able to buy this test bench basically with with funding from you know well, test bench the uh, the case itself, uh, which has been fantastic. I find it funny actually. I'm going for the tangent now. You can pretty much go if you go to the video description, get the Patreon poll, and do your thing. Um, but I do find it interesting how many people use the uh, what is the is it a Silverstone test system? I think. I don't think it is actually. No. It's there's this test system which everyone uses. It's basically this thick aluminium base with some legs on it. And they have that. And it looks like a like an absolute cluttered mess on there and looks really unusable. Everything looks like uh, horrible to access. Uh, when you've got everything laid out nicely here on a very slim line test system and on the thermal take core P uh, core P3. <sighs> it's been a long day. I need to get this done. Right. It's seven o'clock now. I need to get this uh, edited. I need to finalize the editing of the Mugen 5, which will already be uploaded by this point. And I need to finish off and finish the build off and recording of the level 20 VT case so that will take me um probably about four hours from this point so wish me luck i will catch you in the next video which will be the thorite macho rev b oh also um sorry this is awful um live streams live streams i've got some amazing ideas for live streams although i think they're amazing they haven't been sort of uh, no, um, pass through anyone else. They're not being quality controlled in terms of their uh, the greatness of the idea. But we do need to do a, an overclock and live stream overclock of the R9390X, which is not what people are live stream overclocking now. Um, so I'm a little bit behind the curve. I'll catch up eventually. Maybe in five or six years' time, I'll get an RT card and, and have a look at that. But not now. We, we can't afford it. So uh, the R9390X, we're going to be overclocking that on water. We need to live stream that and we'll have a good amount of fun doing that. I'll probably be needing 
getting a lot of advice from people and you know as to the sort of technicalities of that cut specifically and maybe some you know finite things i don't do a lot of overclocking but we'll have a good fun doing that um i'm also and I, it's the first time i'm mentioning this now and i'm gonna mention it now because i'm rambling and i may as well and you guys probably the other people who are most sort of supportive of the channel will be up to this point even watching this video I will be doing live streams of um, of cases. I will do case live stream builds. Now they're not going to be a uh, major pinnacle cases. They're not going to be something like the level 20 VT. Not at all, because we need uh, a lot of information for such an expensive case. We need a lot of information out there. Everyone needs to know up front before they purchase these things exactly what they're getting themselves into when they're spending a hundred pounds on a case. So yeah, I'm not going to be producing, you know just a really quick build live stream and then some fancy b-roll at the end and be and saying that's a review because that's not a review that's an overview that's you know a very hands-off sort of this is how it works that's not my style so the cases the kind of cases we'll be doing live stream builds in are cheap cases ones that you wouldn't expect much of um and you know maybe up to 40 pounds in some cases uh, and i also might be doing some speed live stream builds of some of the cases i have around still so we can populate these graphs with the new coolers that we're checking out that'll be happening for the next you know good six months or something maybe one live stream a month or something would be fun to do anyway i'm probably heading towards 10 minutes i don't want to get further than that so thanks guys i'll catch you in the uh in the live streams i'll catch you in the thermal uh thermal rights review next week the macho review and apart from that, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for um, uh, voting in the poll below and I will see you then. <laughs> I don't know how to finish this. Bye guys.